You may begin your test now. All right. Nothing on this test was in my notes. I'm sure I copied everything on the board. Is this even calculus? I still need to study for three more tests tonight. I guess no dinner and no sleep again. It's been like this for two weeks. What am I ever gonna do to get a break? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna ask the teacher. Um, uh, hey, Mr. Yura. No talking during the test. Well, I was just. Uh, I saw your eyes look 15 degrees above your paper. You clearly cheated. Degrees. There's no use denying it, young well, man. Give me your test. I just started. I wasn't even talking. Also, isn't that your 16th coffee today? Well, I haven't been keeping count. But I needed to get through all five of my classes each day. I've been up since 6.30, and I won't go home until 9. Now lower your tone, son. Okay, just hear me out. Uh, was this even a lecture? If you were paying attention in class, yes. Uh, are you Now, sure? if you would be so kind as to turn in your paper, you're getting a zero. Uh, please, no. This is the last test of the semester. I can't get lower than B. I mean, this is going to affect my GPA on the Ivy League schools. Uh, this is going to affect my future. Uh, I, mean, I bet you just love dumping tests on us and... You just want to keep us stressed. Hand it in now! <sighs> My parents are going to kill me. That's not if I get to the first. 32 coffees before lunch? Eesh, this is concerning. Maybe that kid over there just needed some coffee too. Poor guy. Didn't even know it was a history class. <laughs> oh, he finished the test. I mean, I know he's a top student in my class, but why would he need to ask a question? Maybe he wasn't cheating. Oh, wait a minute. It was calculus. Oh, God. Do I have time to correct the other tests? What time is it? The school day is over. Uh, uh, how come there are no bells ringing? Oh, that's right. We don't have any bell system. Maybe they should put my salary into that instead of wherever else they put it in. Or maybe they should just give me my money so I don't have to work a second job. So I don't have to come home late at night and correct papers until two. Okay, students, time is up. The school day is over. Let's go home. Neil and a vast majority of this country's students share in this struggle in mental health. However, this has not just been a recent trend. Since the 1980s, students have shown anxiety levels equivalent to those of young psychiatric patients three decades prior. This is because on average, teens go through more stress than uh, adults. And in a 2019 Washington Post survey, students rate their stress levels at a 5.8 on a scale of 10. In contrast, American adults only rate their stress levels at a 3.8. Many students are suffering drastic mental health concerns due to the way our education system functions. And parents, this is not because of our cell phones. <laughs> Although this should put into perspective how the stress levels of students should be addressed by today's curricula in schools. This should not invalidate the stress levels of our own teachers, like Mr. Yoro. Last year, the organization known as Research and Development, other than that, otherwise known as RAND, surveyed that one in four teachers were likely to quit their jobs. This was due to several factors that teachers complained about. First, Teachers were restricted to more lecture-based classes rather than exploring new learning materials and new teaching ways that may better suit their students. Also, notice how schools are starting earlier in August than they have done in the past. This forces teachers to have less preparation time for each and every new school year. Lastly, teachers cannot advocate for better pay 
because of poor representation. They have, they're forced to work second jobs just in order to make ends meet. And as we all know, this was, this was ever so present as a result of COVID-19's impact. Closing schools and distance learning has only shed light on a deeper and more underlying issue. These factors are inducing high levels of stress and anxiety to people on both aspects of education. This is why my partner, Neil, and I hope to educate you all on some possible solutions to fix this issue. In studies searching for the most efficient education systems, countries like Australia, Canada, Shanghai, Finland, and Singapore showed at the top. This is because their education systems promote ideas such as effort over ability and self-learning. In contrast, America focuses on statistical data of progress, which can only be collected through numerous excessive standardized tests. Thus, our goal is to reestablish the psychology behind our education system, to renew the way we view learning. I know it sounds time consuming and difficult to do, but it is possible and it is necessary to do before this decline in mental health leads to something far worse. In an article from Education Week, studies have shown that suicide rates within students between ages 15 through 19 have increased by 76%. And students between ages 10 through 14 have tripled during that time. This statistic will only increase if we don't act. We must make change, for it is the path towards a better future for generations, generations of learners to come. The first step towards making this change is something I like to call the Papa John's Act plan. <laughs> Our goal is to give teachers better pay, better training programs, more classroom autonomy, more preparation time, and lastly, more say in policy. Raising teachers' salaries will allow them to devote more time and effort towards their profession instead of a second job just to maintain financial stability. Training programs will give teachers the experience they need to better orient their teaching styles for specific age demographics, for different age groups have different strengths and needs. This goes in hand with time management and preparation. Lastly, it is essential that it is essential that teachers have more say in education because it is necessary to tackle this problem and its system at its core. Teachers are the front lines of education, the ones who open the doors to innovation. By helping them, they can work more proficiently, which will later pave the way towards students and improving their mental health. Our plan, our project, is to share this presentation with principals throughout our county, Solano County. We are also looking to um, we are also looking to interview well-revered physics researcher John Clauser in hopes to add his accounts for a more convincing talk. We hope you all learned something from this talk, and hope you all took uh, our considerations and suggestions to heart. For if any of our changes can be made, this can be the outcome in classrooms. Okay, class, I finally corrected your test from last week. I apologize for the delay in grading. I was looking for other methods of teaching besides my boring lectures, because obviously that doesn't work. So if you got lower than a 70, come see me. Maybe I can help you better than before. Oh, and Neil, I apologize for the outburst last week. I realized that you weren't cheating, so. I graded your paper too. All right. I, I passed. Thank you. Yeah.